Hello, I'm GCC librarian Claire Lobdell. Today, I'm going to show you how to use Academic Search Premier, which is the largest article database that GCC has, with articles on a very broad range of topics. It's a particularly good source for research from the sciences and social sciences. People at GCC usually use it to look for scholarly academic journal articles, but it also contains a lot of articles from newspapers and magazines. There are two main advantages to using a database to find articles for your coursework rather than doing a basic Google search. First, the databases are only searching across content from a pre-selected batch of publications, which are usually fairly high quality. Second, the databases offer a lot of advanced search features so that you can narrow down the scope of your search and avoid getting thousands and thousands of results. Okay, from the main GCC Library webpage, click on the big blue Databases button. This will take us to a page with three featured databases and below it a list of subject headings. From here, I'll click on Academic Search Premier, which is one of the featured databases. If you click on our databases from on campus, you'll be taken directly to the database. If you click on them from off campus, you will first be taken to a sign-in page that looks like this, where you'll have to enter your library card number as well as a password. The default password is your last name in all capital letters. If you don't yet have a library card, you can request one by filling out the Get a Card form on the library website. If you fill out this form during the week, you will be emailed a library card number within 24 hours. If you submit the form over the weekend, you'll have to wait for your library card number until someone comes in on Monday. Once you're in Academic Search Premier, there are few different ways to narrow down your search that you may find helpful. For example, Academic Search Premier indexes many more articles than GCC actually has full text access to. If you want to limit your search to only articles you can access immediately, you can click the Full Text button. If you're interested in only looking at recent articles, say within the past five years, you can set a limited date range. Also, you have the option to limit to just scholarly articles by clicking the Academic Journals button. I want to search for articles on the impact of global warming on hurricanes. I'm going to search for full text articles published in the past 10 years, but I'm not going to limit to academic journals because I want to see what else is available. I'm going to use the word or in my search to make sure that I'm accounting for different terms for the same phenomenon. I'm going to search for global warming or climate change. And I'm putting quotation marks around those terms so that they're being searched as phrases. If I don't put quotation marks around those terms, it's possible that the database will look for each of those words individually in documents. I'm setting the search field to abstract because abstracts are short summaries of articles. If my search terms appear in the abstract, I can be pretty sure that they're an important part of the article. I'm also going to search for hurricanes or or hurricane, <clears throat> or typhoon, or tropical cyclone, because those are also all synonyms for the same phenomenon. And I'm going to search for those in the abstract. I click on the search button 
and have just over 300 results. It looks like most of the results are from academic journals. Articles from academic journals have a little icon next to them in the results list that says academic journal. There are different icons for periodicals, which are newspapers or magazines, and for other types of results that you might find in the database. For example, you will find some video content in Academic Search Premier, and those will have a different icon. If I find an article that looks particularly interesting, I can click on the title and read the abstract. You'll notice a menu of options appears on the right side of the screen. If this sounds like something I might want to use for my research paper, I'll probably email the article to myself by clicking on the email button. This gives me the option to input my email address and also select the format for the article citation that will be emailed to me. Make sure to select the citation format that your professor requires. That way, you already have the citation and don't have to necessarily write it from scratch. Most science and social science faculty at GCC require APA formatted citations, while most faculty in the humanities use MLA format. You can also read the full text of the article by clicking on the PDF icon. And you can print out the article from here if you choose. If you don't limit to full text and find an article that you really want to read that isn't available in full text, you can request it from the library and we can find it for you from another library. Back on the GCC library homepage, if you click on interlibrary loan, there's a form you can fill out to request an article. You'll include your contact information and information about the article. When you fill out that form and submit it, the article will usually be emailed to you within a day or two. Thank you very much for viewing this video. If you have questions about this or other library services, please contact reference at gcc.mass.edu.